So Richard Carrier recently stood up in front of the American Atheist Convention in Austin, Texas, to advocate for Atheism Plus. Now, Curry has previously committed his formidable mind to supporting Atheism Plus, stating, I will provide any intellectual artillery they need to expand this cause and make it successful. So what is this Atheism Plus, I hear you ask? Well, Carrier explains it like this. We're going to be atheists plus we care about social justice. We're going to be atheists plus we support women's rights. We're going to be atheists plus we protest racism. Atheists plus we fight homophobia and transphobia. Atheists plus we use critical thinking and skepticism. Well, it's nice to see you didn't completely forget about critical thinking in that list. But it's a very ass backwards way of listing it, as most sensible people start out as critical thinkers. And because of that methodology, that results in them becoming atheists. But I have to say that it's speeches like this. Sexist and demeaning remarks being a lot of other sexist and uh, the harassment of intensified harassment. Far more harassment, far more harassment and abuse, sustained sexual harassment, sexually harassing remarks targeted by this harassment. That really do make me feel that atheism's primary problem isn't sexual harassment creating a toxic environment. It's professional victims creating a toxic environment. And also people like Carrier, who are absolute in their support, that we should pander to these professional victims. I should remind you that this guy was actually invited to talk at this conference. So how do you sell professional victimhood? Well, it's simple. You say something really stupid. We Muslims, the servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and our non-Muslim allies, will send you to the God that you wish you knew. And then you portray the backlash as being simply because you are an oppressed demographic. Hey Thunderfoot, we're human beings too, you know. So long. And then following this bait and switch, the white knights like Carrier charge in on their piety ponies and suggest that anyone who doesn't condemn the backlash is a misogynist, a bigot, and so on. The first thing I mean by plus is Atheism Plus Basic Moral Values. Atheism Plus Basic Moral Values? Basic Moral Values like mm, honesty? Well, let's see how you fare on the honesty front, shall we? But when I first blogged about it, my first blog entry, uh, I basically quite stridently denounced uh, all this sexual harassment uh, in no, un no compromising terms. I argued for greater humanitarian concern from atheists, uh, and I advocated that we adopt at least three basic moral values. Uh, and I, I spelled them out, I explained them in detail, and those were compassion, integrity, and reasonableness. And no sooner had I done this than I was accused of being Hitler, Stalin, and I was accused of starting a religious cult and various other things. <laughs> You were just sitting there advocating for compassion, integrity, and reasonableness, and people compare you to Stalin and Hitler? <laughs> you don't think that sounds a little far-fetched, that there might be something more to the story? Well, let's take a look at your post of compassion, integrity, and reasonableness, shall we? Don't assume that because someone else did that, that it's covered and you can give it a miss. No, we need to show numbers. So speak out wherever you see these two sides at loggerheads and voice your affiliation so it's clear how many of us there are against them. And this is very much a us versus them situation. The compassionate versus the vile. You can't sit on the fence on this one. In a free society, apathy is an endorsement of villainy. Actually, Richard, that looks more like pointlessly divisive, emotional blackmail to me. You know, agree with me or you're a evil, vile subhuman. But that's not divisive now, is it? That does not make me a religionist or a cultist or anything like that. It doesn't make me divisive either. It Richard continues not being divisive. I call everyone now to pick sides, not in comments here, but publicly via Facebook and other social media. Are you with us? Or with them? Only a Sith deals in absolutes. Are you with us or with them? Either you are with us or you are with the terrorists. Are you part of the Atheism Plus movement or are you going to stick with Atheism Less? Then at least we will know who to work with and who to avoid. Yes, this is straight out of Scientology, Richard. 
You want to declare people suppressive persons and disconnect from them. They're going to say, don't listen to Tori. She's suppressive. She's an SP. You know, she, she's just trying to turn any of the good things that we're doing into something bad. No, that is not true. I expose the abuses of the Church of Scientology. Those are not good. They are not, they are not good in any way, shape, or form. And these are stopping free speech. There's no way to say that's good. I know they can bend it and say, well, you're an SP and we're just keeping people away from you because that'll protect them. Bullshit. You stop free speech. That's what you do. Uh, and I have full moderation on my blog so that when they, when they send me a comment on my blog, it does not get seen by anyone. And so therefore I can delete it immediately and they've wasted their time. It will also confirm your moral values to the public and thus better represent atheism as a community. Uh, and I think this is... This is one of the important elements of this, is that the way you behave, the things you denounce, the things you speak out about, communicate to the wider public, not just the atheist community, what atheists are all about, what atheists stand for, what atheists are against, and what they are for. Uh, I made YouTubers very upset a while back because I made a decision to turn off comments on all my YouTube videos. Right, right. The way you behave, the things you denounce, the things you speak out about, communicate to the wider public, not just the atheist community, what atheists are all about. Um, the best you can do is, you know, if you're running a forum, is to institute very strict moderation, who gets in, who gets to stay. Uh, you know, utilize the block button on Twitter. I censor the comments, so there's nothing you can do. So yes, what you are suggesting is very cult-like. Secondly, I don't know how much you know about the history of World War II, but Hitler didn't just roll up in a modern first world democracy like Germany and run on the manifesto of mechanized extermination of the Jews. No, it was mostly about wanting a better future for Germany. Ladies with larger broods were invited to the film premiere of Mother Love, the regime's hymn to family and folk community. And about keeping it pure. Above all, ideologically pure. That's what all the book burning was about. It wasn't about destroying copies of the media. It was about destroying ideas. Keeping things ideologically pure. The real enemies were those undermining the true German spirit. And so you continue. Yes, it does. Atheism Plus is our movement. We will not consider you part of it. We will not work with you. We will not befriend you. We will herefore denounce you as the irrational, immoral scum you are if such you are. If you reject these values, then you are no longer one of us. And we will say so publicly and repeatedly. You are hereby disowned. Oh, frickin' A, Richard. Yeah, any totalitarian McCarthyist witch hunt would be proud of your unwavering commitment to unquestionable dogma. And then, of course, you show your real intentions when someone merely says, I'll stick with the original atheism, thanks. And you respond, so, one vote for douchery. Got it. Look, I'll make this simple, Richard. You're telling this story that there was these feminists speaking out for women's rights and getting the most evil harassment is bullshit. And your insistence that you are either for the position that women are people too. I think it's the case that this is another issue where we can look at it objectively and we can, we can agree with the statement that women are people. And therefore you have to support all these oppressed women or be ideologically purged as cannibalistic humanoid underground dwellers. I kid you not, those are exactly the terms that Carrier uses to describe such people. You're right, Carrier. You know Hitler. Hitler merely referred to them as subhumans. And after this, you betray your post as merely advocating for compassion, integrity, and reasonableness, and how you can't see how anyone found this even remotely totalitarian or cult-like. Uh, and I advocated that we adopt at least three basic moral values. Uh, and I, I spelled them out, I explained them in detail, and those were compassion, integrity, and reasonableness. And no sooner had I done this, then I was accused of being Hitler, Stalin, and I was accused of starting a religious cult and various other things. This would maybe be a more accurate analogy of what happened. Joe Blow makes an outrageously dumb claim like, Stalinism is the radical belief that workers are people too, and gets a load of flack for saying something so outrageously dumb. Joe then turns around and says, look at all the hatred I get, merely for suggesting that workers be treated as people. And then Rich steps up and says, 
It's only rational that workers are people. We must show solidarity against people who attack this concept. So from now on, all members of Atheism Plus must now support Stalinism. Disowning people who declare their refusal to be compassionate, honest, or reasonable. I mean, if they stalwartly say, we reject your moral values, I'm going to disown those people and I'm going to say so. And denounce anyone who harasses people for merely advocating that workers are people too. Uh, atheists should not be tolerating, tolerating this in our community. As a community, we should be speaking up against this and disapproving it. Or maybe something a little more mm, directly applicable. Someone says something like, Bitch, slap a feminist. You'll feel better. And this will help them know their place. And then when the avalanche of angry comments come in, they say, Look at all the hate I get just for being a man and expressing an unpopular opinion. This community clearly has a problem with hate against men. We need to socially correct their attitudes until men can express unpopular views without receiving an avalanche of slurs and threats. And if you think that last bit is just bloody stupid, <laughs> wanting immunity from harsh language online for saying stupid shit, it's actually a direct quote from one of Carrier's favourite professional victims. Oh, we cannot begin to discuss the tone of slight disagreements in our community unless and until secular women can prominently express unpopular viewpoints without receiving an avalanche of slurs and threats. Yeah, Carrier, getting called on your bullshit is not harassment. Getting a backlash for saying stupid shit in public is not harassment or sexism, but par for the course. Newsflash carrier, anyone who states an opinion vocally online gets a load of shit. The only difference is your little harem of elite feminist whiners pretend that it only happens to them. I quote from Watson again, People who don't think sexism exists in this movement have no response to the massive amount of evidence women have provided to illustrate the problem. And then when you look at this massive amount of evidence that sexism exists in the atheist community, you find a pathetic handful of troll comments and things like this. As the rape threats have never been produced and are limited, it seems to anonymous comments by trolls and others who you can't know are part of the atheist community. Or even if they occurred, you are jumping the gun. As an atheist slash skeptic, your first job is to determine if a problem actually exists or are the inventions of a self-promoting sociopath repeated by mindless ideologues. Rebecca, have you ever read anything by George Orwell? He's kind of a hero of mine and many others of an intellectual class as well. You should take the time to thumb through 1984 and Animal Farm. You should stand to learn a few tricks about influencing the masses through censorship and propaganda. Or you could just go back to street performing. The latter is the better. You're just not cut out for this gig. Who the fuck would be hitting on you anyway? I'd rather masturbate with a cheese grater. And these are just comments on YouTube. And let's face it, everyone gets them. For instance, you feel that Thunderfoot is an insufferable douche? That's because he is an insufferable douche. If you ever met him, beat him with an iron rod. He'll scream like a schoolgirl. Oh no, look at the hatred that I get just for being a man and expressing an opinion online. Really, in their mind, this constitutes evidence for sexism. Sexist and demeaning remarks being a lot of other sexist. Uh, the harassment of intensified harassment. Far more harassment. Far more harassment and abuse. Stained sexual harassment. Sexually harassing remarks. Been targeted by this harassment. Look, you want a role model for how to deal with online criticism? Look to this pasty fat ass. Take a long, hard look. This guy has had personal pictures of him doing stuff with a banana made public in a sort of mm, revenge porn. And you know what? All things considered, he handled it with a surprising level of dignity. Now take another hard look, Carrier. I alone probably pull in a, a comparable amount of traffic to your entire little blogging network of social justice warriors. <laughs> that's probably about the same as the remaining mostly inactive atheist bloggers on YouTube, with the exception of this one. This guy eclipses me in terms of internet footprint. You might not like this carrier, 
But this guy is orders of magnitude more impactful than you and your little band of PC whiners. And that's not even his main goal. Indeed, in many ways, he would do a better job of running this community than you. Why? <laughs> because you think the future of atheism is in these McCarthy-esque witch hunts. Disowning people who declare their refusal to be compassionate, honest, or reasonable. I mean, if they stalwartly say, we reject your moral values, I'm going to disown those people and I'm going to say so. And making it more appealing to minorities. Uh, but also, what do Hispanic or black or Filipino atheists want to discuss with the wider atheist community? So, I think... Atheist organizations should take note of this, uh, and many already have. I think American Atheists already gets it. This will grow your membership and financial support. If we were going to talk about social justice issues, I, I know lots of people who would be here right now uh, if we talked about that more. And so that's, that's an example of where I think there is a market demographic out there that we're not tapping, and we could be tapping it. There are more actual and potential atheists who don't join our organizations or go to our meetings because they are bored, they're bored with constantly hearing about God or religion all the time, or church-state separation all the time, or pseudoscience all the time. You're a moron. Look at this cartoony representation of America. The proportions are about right. You are looking to growing the community by appealing to minorities in the atheist world. Looking to minorities of a minority to grow the community. You're a moron. Look, let me make this simple. You see that big red slice there? That's the most important potential growth area of all. And it's showing the religious that religion is bullcrap. And you want to focus the community's efforts on making atheism a minority, appealing to minorities. And when the ideological tests that you want to put on atheism have done this for the popularity of P.Z. Myers. Sorry, this is just the sort of PR victory we can live without, thanks. Look, carry on. Just because you've gorged yourself on this professional victim Kool-Aid, I really don't see the need to poison the rest of the movement like you've poisoned yourselves. Uh, and I think we should all, all organizations should call for atheists to speak out against and socially punish, meaning denounce, downvote, for example, and things like that. Any harassment behavior wherever and whenever you can find it.